on. Hey, I'm up on a northern Minnesota lake today on first ice, and I want to show you a trick for catching more big bluegills. You know, there's nothing like going out and catching big bluegills right away early in the season, but you usually got to wade through a lot of small fish, and I really don't want to have to be taking my line up and down for fish that I'm going to be throwing back, because you know what, I'm out here to get a pail and a quick, a pail full and a quick meal. You know what, though? Here's how I do it. I use bigger bait. I use something that emulates a minnow, okay? This is a Lindy Ratlin flyer spoon. It's a 16th ounce. Now, most people think, oh, geez, that's way too big for bluegills, but it's not, and it's not because of how I bait it up. When I hang these wax worms on here, I hang one from each treble vertically, but then I put one across tip to tip on two of the trebles, and what that does is makes it so the bluegills keep eating their way up on it. Now, the rattles will bring them in, but the rattles will do another thing, too. They'll actually scare away some of those smaller fish, and that's what I want to do because I don't want to mess with those fish. I'm looking for these. I'm looking for those good dinner fish, or I'm looking for that big fish to take a picture of, and then I'm going to throw that one back. But let's drop down here because I'm over the top of some fish, and let me show you how simple this is. What I'll actually do is I'll jiggle it, wiggle it around, engage those rattles, and get the fish to move up a little bit, okay? Once I get them up, I stop, and you see I got a fish on it right now. He's pulling at that rod tip right now, but I'm actually stopped because I got a lot of bait there, and I'm giving him a chance to eat his way up it. Once he stops biting it, just jiggle it a little bit again, get him re-engaged, see if we can't get him going again. I got him red. He's, he's right here. I just got to get him excited about it. There he is. Got him. See that? It's as simple as that. And this is another good one. I mean, you can just tell by the way that rod's bent and the feel on it. <laughs> Look at that one. That's a great dinner fish. And one thing I want to show you, I'm going to come closer to the camera and show you this. Look at how he ate that treble hook. And it's all because of that top wax worm across tip to tip. He eats up from the bottom. He nipped at those three that were hanging there. But then there was one more there and he kept eating. He got over the top of that treble hook. And that's a perfect... Bucket fish, he's gonna go home for dinner tonight.